Hey everybody, here's a water tank that I built for testing bullet expansion. I went ahead and built it because I'm waiting for this to finish curing. This is a reinforced concrete wall that I built for testing bullet penetration. I've got various types of armor piercing and armor piercing incendiary as well as regular rounds that I plan on testing on this. This is rebar and wire mesh reinforced with fiber in it. This is 8 inch, 7, 6, 5, and 4 inches. So while we're waiting on that, back to the water tank. Um, I shot 7.62 by 39 hollow point and soft point at it today, as well as 357 and 44 magnum. So let me go ahead and show you how I built this and let's take a look and see what the results were. These are two 55 gallon plastic drums. I've sliced open the top and the bottom and put them together so it makes one long tunnel. Cut some portholes so I can see inside and reach inside. And then I simply got some 3 mil plastic sheeting to make a liner so that it's watertight. And right now I'm filling it with water. That water is coming from my rain catch system, not my well. Here you can see the five holes I cut for shooting through. Here's our disposable 3 mil plastic sheeting liner. So I figured by having five holes, if I shot up at these ones first, obviously the water will start draining out, but that'll give me time to get in three more shots before the water drains too far. So if you figure this thing's going to have probably 80 to 100 gallons of water in it, you want to be able to get off a couple shots. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first things I shot were these 357 Magnums out of the Ruger SP-101 revolver. These are just some old ammo that I had around. I don't know exactly what kind they are, but these are semi-jacketed hollow points, and these are flat points. Now, the hollow points actually expanded remarkably well, um, very nicely. I was impressed with that. The flat points, on the other hand, not so exciting. Over here, we've got the Brown Bear 7.62 by 39 hollow points. These were interesting. I've never really gotten to see the expansion on these before, up until now. They pretty much just fragmented themselves. I shot three rounds, and uh, two of them just came completely apart. In fact, here you can see the hollow point tip sheared off completely, and it's just this nice little cone. Um, over here, this one stayed pretty much together. The hollow point is right there on it, and it didn't shred apart, but uh, it did come apart a little bit. Next we have the Golden Bear 7.62 by 39 soft points. Uh, I was pretty impressed with these because uh, they expanded very well and very consistently. Uh, the lead did separate from the jackets when I found them in the tank, um, but these really uh, did quite nicely. I was impressed by those. 
Lastly, what we have over here, these are the 44 Magnum hollow points, lead cast hollow points. These are the same ones that I shot in the potato sack shooting video. Uh, go ahead and click here to watch that if you'd like to see it. Now, I knew from the potato video that this alloy that these are cast from was too hard. It did not expand uh, well. It basically fragmented and came apart instead of expanding. And I was able to tell that uh, that was probably going to happen because these are the ones from the potato video. And you can see that when they went through the sack of potatoes, they did expand, but not very much. They didn't mushroom out like you would hope. Okay, real quickly, what did I learn from this experiment today? Well, this was just a trial run of this system, and I learned that one shot, the water runs out a heck of a lot faster than I expected it to, so in the future, I need to be ready to put all my shots through as fast as I can before the water level decreases. I learned that my camera mount needs to be something much more solid. I had a camera down underwater, and it was held in place with a brick. Well, these barrels, they uh, shake pretty violently when shot, and the camera came loose and started floating around and was useless. I wasn't sure if the length would be enough, but uh, I found the 44 mag down here, the 357s in here, and the 7.62 by 39, I found some back here, some here, and some way up near the front. None of them seem to penetrate out the back. I'm guessing that some of them may have actually lightly hit the back and bounced down, I'm not quite sure. But none of them came out the back, so that's good. Now, um, you know, 7.62 by 39, I'm guessing if I was doing a 7.62 by 54, or maybe 30-06, that uh, it might penetrate out the back, I'm not sure. but. We're going to definitely find out because you're going to see more from this. And I would urge you to leave some comments. Tell me what you think about this. Uh, if you have suggestions on how to improve this system. Or um, just tell me what you think. So thanks for watching and be safe.